Hey guys, here I am again, as I promised. Wow, keeping my promises, that's new. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is start part two of this 10 kilograms of jewellery that I had sent to me. Um, can't remember who it was I got it from. It was a reseller. So like I said on the video before, I'm not expecting to find gold or silver or anything in here. But these will be bits to pad out some of my nicer jewellery when I sell them in bundles. And, you know, they have to be nice, they have to be wearable, and they have to be resellable, whether they're gold or silver or plastic or stone or all the other materials that people use to make some jewellery. Um, mm -mm. A little sip of drink, because it's very hot today again, damn it. I thought we were over this, but apparently not. Um, Let's pour some out and as I pour some out I will have a little talk with you about what I decided to do about the woman who sold me those silver silvery bits and I saw your message Chrissy by the way and that's really interesting to know and I think for future reference I will absolutely um I will absolutely follow things up because it's not cool is it really this time, however, I've just let it go. I said, you know what, whatever, take care. I'm not gonna take this any further. I'm just gonna leave it be. I did have some quite nice little things in there that might be silver. And that's interesting what you said, Chrissy, about the, uh, the springs in the clasps. That's really, really interesting. So yeah, I will not dismiss things so easily next time. Anyway, let's have a little start and see what we got. So over this side, we're going to put 2K, 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 2K stuff. And this side, we'll put Crafty Craft. So we've just got instantly, these have all still got um, labels and stuff on. So we've got these gold bracelets, bangles in a bundle. That the charity shop that I'm assuming it came from was trying to sell for a fiver and it didn't sell. They're actually brand new. They've still got their label on them. Um, by Charlie. Okay, they're nice. We can put them in a 2k lot. It's unusual. Unusual to me anyway. So what's it got on there? Is that a giraffe? Is that a giraffe? Yeah, it's a giraffe and lion. I can't see when I'm looking in the camera properly. We've got elephants, antelopes, tigers. Ah, and this is gonna be a brass, a brass, not brass, copper bangle, I believe. We'll put that over with 2K anyway, it's quite nice. And we've got a, this isn't going to be, could you have that hanging off your wrist? Maybe it's a pendant, I don't know, no? Don't like the feather bit on it, I'm going to put that in craft. What else have we got? It's been very, very difficult not to look at this. I threw a load of, not a load of, I threw a handful of my old stuff in here when I was trying to actually get my act together. <laughs> Which I need to. So we got some silver tone bangles and a nice white um, bracelet that goes with those it's quite a nice little threesome <laughs> right let's try and get this untangled this is where I'm gonna wish I had my knife with me and I don't because the other half borrowed it for something and he's gone out now and I cannot be bothered to go looking around the place so we've got this one. Sort of the Egyptian-y type thing. It's quite tarnished. I'll put that into there. Oh, we've got a watch. Obviously it's missing its front. A little pocket watch. And it's got little thing on the end and it says China. <laughs> it's quite pretty though, the back of it's, you know, does that come away? 
Looks like it might come away. Oh yeah, it does. To change the battery. <clears throat> it's broken though, so it's gonna have to go into crafts as well. What else have I got here? Another bangle. Pop that in there. Those are old earrings. Like I said, I remember putting a few bits in here. Can't remember why. I think it might just have been, oh I don't know. I can't remember what I did with those or where I put them, so yeah. We've got a copper bracelet here that says exquisite seven inch. It needs a good polish, but yeah, that's properly copper. Um, oh, what to do with that? What to do with it? People might like that because they help with rheumatism and stuff, don't they? Apparently. Apparently. We've got a nice little beaded bracelet. I like those. And we've got a brown, copper, bronze rather, toned engraved bracelet here that's quite nice. <clears throat> And we've got tangled things, I suppose there's something different. This is rather a bright little seed bead necklace. It's okay. Somebody who likes to be colourful could wear that. Uh, what does that say? That says gold plated. And I'm sure I saw another one of these. Uh, not in this lot. Anyway, so that's gold plated. It's quite nice. It's not tarnished. That will be okay. We've got one of these. Um, oh, this is this is the uh, Harry Potter thing, isn't it? Um, don't know what to do with that. I think craft. Because you can get Harry Potter stuff. I'm sure my, my eldest daughter is a bit of a Harry Potter fan. And I've bought her a few things, watches and stuff on her birthdays and bits and you know they're not expensive they're not expensive this is nice this is really nice I can't see anything on the class but that's okay that's 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 lovely and it's not missing anything so we put that in the 2k lot uh, now this is what's it called that was tangled and we've got some other seed bead necklaces here It's okay. It's not broken. It works. Right now, what is this? It's all jumbled. Oh, it's two things. All right. Could it even be three things? I don't know. Um, what's happening here? What's going on here? Oh, 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 okay. Ha! Huh. This is... I can get that little bit out there. Doesn't want to come out. This is a bracelet, a magnetized bracelet. It's very nice. It's got something stuck to it. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that goes on like that. That's nice enough. The magnet still works. It's all good. We've got this, which is, we've got some sort of silver, um, aluminium looking, balls and chain that doesn't have a maker's mark on it or anything it's just what it is and it's fine and the last bit out of that little majigger that we had I think we're missing stones on mm, or are we maybe we're not this is really nice This is so pretty. I'll pop that in the 2K. Got a bangle that looks very vintage. It's very faded as well. I'll keep that over there and maybe put in a vintage look because some people might not appreciate getting something faded and some people it won't matter to. This isn't wood. Looks wood, doesn't it? This is this is stone. Not sure what stone because I'm not very au okay with different stones, but it's stone, and it's nice. Let's uh, untangle that little bit. Mm. 
I'm getting a bit better at making sure that you can see what I'm doing these days. So that's just an anchor on a very long rope chain, um, not rope chain, rope thing, I can never remember the name of, bit of ropey rope anyway, and we've got a clasper, a clacker, clasper, whatever you want to call these things, we've got that, it's, uh, it's got nothing written in it, and it's actually, it's okay. Um, is that? Oh no, it's not. It's fine. It's okay. I'll pop that over there. Ooh, shiny. And broken. Oh no, what a shame. What a shame, a shame. I love sparkly things. They're my favourite. They bring out the little princess in me. <laughs> I never had little princess when I was little. We'll pop that in there. I was a total tomboy. And yeah, I probably still am actually. But it doesn't mean that I don't like looking at pretty things, even if I don't wear them. They're not for me, you know. Is that from Oxfam, the green labels? I don't know. I think, I feel like it is. That's pretty. It's not the amber stones. And there's the green label. It doesn't say Oxfam, but I'm quite... Uh, registered, oh no, it's Bernardo's. Okay. Okay. Shows you how much I know then, eh? Pull this bit out. This is nice. Oh, I like this one. So this is a very long necklace. Has it got a clasp on it? Or are we expected just to put it over our bonds? Don't know. I don't know what stones these are either, but they're definitely like a polished stone. They're nice. Oh, please have a clasp. What do you do when you get a piece of jewellery and it doesn't have a clasp, so it's got nowhere to show you what it might be? How do you find that out? Because I don't know. You didn't know. I will try and look for it. I'll put that in a 2K in the meantime. Get some more. Uh, there's this. Hmm. Yeah, I think that can go into craft, can't it? Got some earrings there. Oh, I've got earrings that match that necklace. Look at these. Oh, that's exciting. Why am I excited? I am excited by that. I might be able to have a look see on them and see if there's anything about them there. Pop that in the 2K along with its lovely sister. Well, this is unusual. Why would you wear it like that? What, 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 why? It's got a dragonfly. I don't know, I don't like that very much. It just feels a bit awkward. Um. Mmm. No, I'm putting that in craft maybe somebody could do something with the dragonfly take it off of this don't like it. I don't like it that's just what it is uh, I'm trying to go around the edges because I feel like I'm going to get um, things a bit easier so we've got this one I think they're glass that goes down like that, and again, we have no maker's mark, but it's nice. It's shiny and sparkly. And we've got this one, which is a bit meh. I'll put that into craft, I think. Recently, I've started just breaking up everything that I don't use and selling them as, um, what's it called? Just beads. And I think they actually sell better, to be honest. Mm, it takes a little bit of time, but it's alright. You sit there in front of the TV watching a movie or something and just break them all up. Do I ever apologise for my nails? I should, because they're messy still. We've been doing a lot of painting and a lot of drawing and a lot of fun with Jessica and putting this into craft. Um, we've done some more charcoal again today, which is great. She loves getting messy. I've ordered some pastels because my pastels have run out so we're going to do that as well. 
This is nice. Look at this. That's really nice. And that's a long silver chain that's not um not tarnished or broken in any way whatsoever. I bet it won't have a a name on it. Mm, no, it doesn't. Don't care. That's gorgeous. That can go in there. That's a really nice long sweater um piece. Uh we got tangled up here. Bracelet looks nice though. If I can get this off. Uh oh. Goodness sake. Um that come off that way or the other way? Uh <laughs> which way? Oh I think it comes off there. There. Yeah, so we've been having some fun doing the old arts and crafts. Um, and it's her birthday tomorrow. I'm very excited. I'm more excited than she is, I think. This is a nice bracelet. A nice little clasp. It's coming closer. Try and stay in focus. Very nice. Pop that in 2K. Um, Yeah, so she's got lots of toys and I can't speak too loud because she's just in the other room. I don't, I never feel like I've got her enough. I hate it. But the thing is, because of her autism, she gets really overwhelmed with things. Like, really overwhelmed. So, you know, if you get her too much, she'll just rip off the wrapping paper, won't even look at what she's unwrapping, and just head straight for the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. So with Jess you're far better off to get her just a few things that she really really wants um and generally that's trains Tom's trains but I've got her more than just Tom's trains because yeah she likes things that spin she likes I bought her a spirograph I've never used spirograph is that what they're called I think she's gonna need oh look it's missing one it's a shame into craft um yeah um i think it's it's gonna be something that we have to sit down with her him or i and do with her because she she just won't bother otherwise but she's obviously got all her trains she likes anything that um spins she likes anything that talks and dances so um she always goes to bloody things that she's found on youtube that are now completely vintage and out of production and you can't pick up unless you pay a shit ton of money for. So annoying. This is cute. It's on a chain. It's got something written on it. I wonder if I can see this in my majigger. Where is it? Where have you gone? Did I have it over in the first place? Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll have to look at it later. I'll pop it there. But yeah, it's got something written on it, and the chain has something written on it too. I don't think it's gold. It's it's slightly not the right colour, but I'll have a look anyway, because it might be a nice make. Mm-mm. Here we've got a vintage Efo Pearl one, and we've got a lavendery colour, and that's got a magnetic clasp to it. It's quite nice. Yeah. Everything here is tangled. Yeah, so. something to look forward to. I love her being happy. Um, it's a bit disappointing that she's got school the next day. It would have been great if her birthday was Saturday, but it is what it is. This has got no maker's mark on it, but it's nice. Um, this looks like it could be silver, maybe. Could be. Chain is all twisted and whatnot. 
maybe. But that, um, uh, that, um, cross is actually on at the clasp, it's not actually on the necklace. I can't see any pull marks there. I'm just going to pop it in there. It'll be fine. You guys can have a look and see what you think. Because I'm being lazy today. I had some more news about my dad yesterday, which was um, disappointing. Anyway, yeah, so he, um, he phoned me earlier on in the day and he said, because I've made a thing with him that he would give me a text every morning just so I know that he's okay. Uh, this one's got a little, a little rhinestone missing, so we'll pop that into craft. Um, he would give me a ring, not a ring, a text every day. There's something written on that too. I'll pop that over there as well, that's not gold either, I can tell you that for nothing. But I'm interested to see what it says anyway. And we've got a little bracelet here with an M written on it. Maybe M for mother, mither. There's something written on there too. Uh, <laughs> All right, pop that over there as well. Um, yeah, so we, we arranged that he'd do that. And he hadn't been doing it the last few days. And I sent him a message. I sent him a text saying, text, question mark, um, exclamation mark. What's it called when you mix those two? Contrabang, I think it is. Um, it's a picture. It's this, The symbol is a question mark and an exclamation mark mixed together, a contrabang. I've been after a necklace of a contrabang so long. And it's also the name of a giallo film that I absolutely love. Anyway, let's get back to my papa. Okay, so this is another vintage type fake pearl. <clears throat> um, yeah, so my dad, he never messaged me. I've got a little cross there. And so I sent him the message, I want you message him. And he phoned me and he said, it seems to just hang and say pending recently when I've sent you um, a message. Um, and I don't know what it's doing it. If I message anyone else, it's going through to them fine. And on the phone, when he phones me, it goes through, okay? This is for craft. Um, <clears throat> so, very strange. Don't know what's going on there now. Normally that would be a signal that somebody had um, blocked your number, but he phones me on my number and it's absolutely fine, so God knows. Anywho, We've got quite a nice little European style bracelet there. That's quite cute. I do believe it's not silver, but it doesn't matter. That's actually quite nice. I normally just get rid of these things because they're like ten a penny, aren't they? But occasionally you'll come across one that feels nice and looks nice. So we'll keep that. <clears throat> so anyway, we had that conversation. And that was all fine. I said I would look into it and see what was happening. Wooden, nice, like that. And I usually phone him in the evening, so I phoned him. Um, odd earring. And I said, you're right, Dad? And he said, no, Trace. I was like, oh, what's happened? And um, it turns out the hospital phoned him. and the hospital phoned him and said that they were cancelling his next immunotherapy appointment because his latest blood tests have shown that there's something going on with the liver um, and that could be uh, that could be a side effect god I've got this camera a bit close today haven't I that could be a side effect <clears throat> didn't mean to put that in there, we're going to put that into craft, because, yeah. <clears throat> and he said, I'm just fed up of it. I was like, oh, I know, it's like every time he thinks something might be going right, or looks like it's going in the right direction, craft for that one. Um, 
something else happens and you said I was you said I was upset and the nurse could you know the woman who I'm assuming nurse that called him um could tell he was upset to the point this is that fake stuff is it is it magnetic yeah there's that one actually that's quite nice feels nice we'll pop that in there and and the nurse had phoned Julie his sister and um said to her I've just you know told your dad told your dad told your brother that um this is what's going on that's going into there there's a problem with his liver um, and we're not sure what it is so we're going to get him back in on Monday now um, to have another blood test and that she was clearly worried that he'd taken that news not not well and um, <clears throat> and he said to me I'm fed up with it I just you know it goes on and on and on there's always something um, and I'm afraid I think with cancer and with these types of things that's just the way it is they do tend to like for some people not for everyone but for some people you, this this keeps happening um i just put that very trees and may necklace into a two kilo bag this is pretty that's really nice yeah i like that one a lot don't think it's got maker's mark either no it doesn't but it doesn't matter put that in the 2k lot got some bracelets here runzy type bracelets with a little dingly dangly bit on them pop those into the 2k lot just a normal let's have a look yeah just just a normal silver tone bracelet so and I don't know if you found this, but I found this. <laughs> Whenever you get something bad that's happening in your life, it always seems to come on a Friday. The last thing I had like that wasn't to do with health, it was to do with cancel tags actually. And I, I'm, I'm really sort of on the ball with my bills. I have to be, we don't have loads of money. So I, I keep it quite close to me and don't let anything get too out of hand. This is a nice one. I don't know if that's real turquoise. No, it's not real turquoise. Um, but it's nice. So yeah, the last thing, and I had something about my council tax and I was behind and I was gonna have to pay this bill that was like three or 400 pounds. It wasn't any sort of chump change. It's nice. This is just a little faux pearl um, bracelet, it's quite nice. And and yeah, and it came on a Friday, and for the entire weekend, I'm raging about it because I'm. It's not. I mean, I say it's not true. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It wasn't true on the Friday. And no, was it Friday? What am I talking about? It's Saturday. Friday, Saturday. You just have this influx of crap coming at you that you cannot. That says something, but I can't see what it is. It says put it with that lot again um and you, you can't do anything about it you can't get hold of them and so there's my dad at home feeling deflated because there's more stuff going on now the immunotherapy seemed to be working it was okay he was doing all right on it not too many side effects that he knew apart from feeling a bit tired but he's just come out of radiotherapy and that takes a while to um you know leave leave itself leave it get rid of the <laughs> i'm tired i'm tired you know i go to bed and i lay there and my brain is just like all these things jessica my dad money my nan my son my other two and it, it just my mind spirals and spirals and spirals and i can't sleep i don't sleep i usually end up getting sleep around seven or eight o'clock in the morning sometimes a bit earlier than that but last night i was wide awake again that's pretty that was a nice one i'll put it in 2k 
Um, yeah, it's just such a lot going on right now. And my brain is just like, nah, you're going to stay awake until you sort all of it out. <laughs> Which I can't do, and I never do, so the next night I'm back at it again. There you go. Do you know, it's not good for your heart not to get much sleep. John found that out. Um, I don't know why he's like, you need to go to sleep. I was like, I would if I could. And I don't want sleeping tablets because I need to know that I can be there for my little girl if she wakes up and she needs me. And I know her dad will be there for her too, but I want to be there. So I'm not taking anything that's going to knock me out. That's really nice. That's really pretty. They're little glass beads in wire. Yeah, I'm good. Um, and I've got my own shiz going on about my house too. And I'm worried about that as well. Not as worried about that. Um, little green seed beady thingy majiggy. I'm going to put those into crafts. Uh, yeah, so life at the minute is a bit hectic. But, I mean, that's probably the same for everyone isn't it really it's never easy except when it is and generally that's only a short-lived experience oh my god i sound morose and depressed i probably am actually in a way i mean god everyone seems to be don't they who do you meet these days that hasn't got anxiety and depression it's messed up this is nice bring this forward so you can see it that's pretty and it's got these um, pull strings that you'd have there and at the end of each of them they've got the little blue glass beads that are here as well that's really a nicely made piece I like that a lot um yeah so but at the end of the day you just gotta get on with it you know you can't just go right I'm not doing life today. <laughs> I suppose you could, but my God. No matter how bad things are, they've got to be better than the alternative, right? Which is nothing. Um, I don't know. I've seen this necklace before. Just move it down so you can see it. Any of my jewellery people. Napier. I knew that. See, I'm getting to know my shiz. Um, this thing is long and tangled. No, it's not tangled. It's just like, my gosh, who wears these? <laughs> Maybe it's, but it's not a belt because I haven't got anything that goes around it. Anyway, what do I do with this? I think I craft it. I think I craft it. Um, we've got this, which is broken because it's got a stone missing, which is a shame because they're pretty red hearts. I hope I hope my crafty people can do something with those. Um, that's a spare earring. That's a spare earring. That's a spare earring. Earring. Spare earring. Spring. Spring. Spare earring. Right, let's see if I can untangle some of this stuff. And at the end of this one, I will call it a day um, for this, because I've got a lot of things to be getting on with. Getting ready for the little lady's birthday. But you know what breaks my heart? I mean, and it really, it really, really does. And I don't think about it because it breaks my heart. But it's one of the things that you can't not think about, I think. Anyway, Jessica goes to a special school and all the children there are disabled in varying degrees. Some are far more disabled than Jessica is. Some are far less disabled than Jessica is. And let's turn this around. This is nice. I really like these things. They always turn out to be from accessories, don't they? But it's got nothing written on it, so I don't know. But that's, that's pretty. It's so pretty and all its beads and whatnot are there so that's cool 
I've got a ring that must be for a child because, or it might be part of the pendant actually. So I'll pop that there and see what we can see. Yeah, what breaks my heart is obviously I'm getting all sorted out for tomorrow and Nan's coming over. Um, probably the children will come over, maybe. I've not even asked them yet. Um, so maybe, maybe not with that. But anyway, Jessica won't give a monkey. She'll be very happy. She'll be opening her presents. She will notice that she's got, you know, lots of party food and food is her thing. Jessica likes her grub. And you've got to be really careful about that, eh? Anyway, so she'll have all her special ice cream and stuff that she wants. I'm untangling this while I'm trying to... I'm trying to untangle this one I'm talking. So yeah, she will... She'll be doing all that and she'll be happy as Larry, but... That's, that's it, that's us. At her birthday party. She doesn't have friends. Like... At all. The people in her class, I mean, they obviously they don't talk because Jessica's not able to talk. She's non-verbal. But, um, yeah, that's going in crap. And that's, that's so sad. I think that's so sad. Kids are horrible. So the point about that is not that they're horrible to her because they aren't. They're disabled and this is a different world they live in. But I'm thinking about when I was at school when I was little, there was always like, picking on people and they were some horrible people, even in my primary school. So in that respect, she doesn't have any of that. And that's 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 what that is, that's good. Um but on the other hand, you know, you want you know, sleepovers and it's just sad. I just find it very, very sad that she doesn't have that. But we've got a circle with a dot in it on there. Do you know what that means? A circle with a dot. I don't know what that means, but it's tangled up to this thing, which is, you know, one of those, which is tangled up to this thing, which is from Zara, I believe, because it's got a Z on it. I'm just guessing. And we've got some wooden bangles and we've got this thing and we've got these on a chain which I kind of like. I like those ones. Can't find the end of it. Yeah, so it does. It's um it's upsetting that she doesn't doesn't have a friend group or a friend. Um However, that sadness is for me, it isn't for Jessica. I'm putting all this in two pay lot. It isn't for her because she's happy. And most of the things I get sad about, I'm sad about because of me, for me. Um, and not for her. I think that might have something written on it. I could be wrong. Let's turn it over and see if there's anything that side. Nope. I'll have a look under my majigger and this one, this is the one that I saw that went with the gold plate. Yeah, see gold plated. All right, I'm gonna call that a day. Look how much, well, you can't see on there, can you? There is a shed ton to go through. Um, still, so I reckon we're gonna do about five, six videos maybe. Um, but I'll leave it there. I'm gonna get on with my day. Um, thanks for listening to me moan about everything please subscribe to me I will make a better camera angle next time um, yeah alrighty have a good day guys take care, look after yourself and each other subscribe to me bye bye